Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go are the lyrics of the anti-slavery anthem of black slaves taken from the biblical verses of the book of Exodus. The Bible, Moses, and the Israelite Exodus provided American black slaves with hope and strength. They prayed for their own exodus, trusting that God opposed black slavery in the U.S. as he had opposed Jewish slavery in ancient Egypt. The colonists of early America were not the only ones who identified with the Bible and the Jewish people. Moses and the biblical exodus played a key role in the formation of the abolitionist anti-slavery movement. Mama Moses was the nickname for Harriet Tubman, a black woman born into slavery who escaped in 1849. She initiated the Underground Railroad, which freed black slaves through a network of secret routes and safe houses. Harriet Beecher Stowe, author of the anti-slavery novel Uncle Tom's Cabin, assisted Mama Moses in running the Underground Railroad and was very active in the Hebraist movement, which aimed to make Hebrew an official U.S. language. Martin Luther King Jr., famed leader of the civil rights movement, based many of his sermons and speeches, including on Moses and the Jewish liberation from slavery in Egypt. He also quoted many verses from Psalms, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and Amos. His battle cry was Moses called to Pharaoh, let my people go. President Abraham Lincoln, was another activist for freedom. His study of the Bible bolstered his determination to abolish slavery. In his second inaugural address, he stated, the Bible is the best gift God has given to man. The rebirth of Israel as a nation state is a noble dream shared by many Americans. It was not until 1865 when the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was ratified that all black slaves were freed to an exodus of their own. Thank you for watching. This video is the fourth in a series of nine displaying the unique bond between Israel and the United States. Mm -hmm.